evening. Welcome back to Royal Education Group. It's a nice hour to study English. I'm Shiva Roy, the IELTS faculty here. And yesterday we studied how to improve our English. We consider or we organize this class to those who don't know how to speak in English in a fluent manner or how to improve their English. Here it will be more advantageous for you that uh, you can improve your English in an easy way of our class. Thank you. Today I'm going to teach you through the conversation how to speak well. How to speak well, that means how to speak fluently. For that purpose, I'm going to give you a small conversation. Yesterday also I talked that uh, we have we are two people, that is speaker number one and the speaker number two. Here I'm going to write S1 and S2. The question is, does John speak? Yes. The question is, does John speak? Answer is yes. Usually, he speaks. Does John speak? Yes, usually he speaks. So, here I am going to teach you how to uh, construct a verb. How to construct a verb or how to put a verb in your sentence. You know, what is a verb? It is a modifying verb. It is a modifying word. Means uh, it is a word that adds something to the meaning of verb, adjective, and uh, or adverb. Verb, adjective, or and another adverb. That is, we can use an adverb verb. We learned some words like this. Does John speak? It is. Does John speak rapidly? One way I used rapid. Rapidly. The word rapid and after that I added a suffix on it. L-Y. So we can easily make some words. That means we can easily write some adverb with the help of adjective. It is an adjective. Rapid is an adjective. And rapidly is an adverb. Listen carefully. Question is, does John speak rapidly? Yes, usually he speaks rapidly. Our answer is, yes, usually he speaks rapidly. Here, we can study word formation. Word formation. How to make a verb? I told you that uh, we can make a verb and it is a modifying verb. It can add something to the meaning of verb or adjective and uh, or a verb. And uh, here one adjective I used rapid and uh, that I can convert to or transform into rapidly. And uh, Again, I am going to give you some more sentences like this so that we can easily improve from it. They are rapid translators. The word, they are rapid translators. Translators is the word noun. Translators is the word noun and adjective is used to qualify the word translator. Rapid is the word adjective. This is used to qualify the word translator. We can transform this sentence like this. They are the they translate Rapidly, they 
ट्रांसलेट राप लिए देयर राप ट्रांसलेटर्स एंड हियर द ट्रांसलेटर्स गोइंग टू चेंज ट्रांसलेट मैन मींस नाउन ट्रांसफर टू ट्रांसलेट द वर्ड वर्ब एंड एडजेक्टिव गोस टू हियर एट द प्लेस ऑफ एडवर्ब दैट इज राप लिए Listen very carefully. They are rapid translators. The translator means it is a noun, and this is adjective. This is our pronoun. This is our being verb, and it is confirmed like this. They translate rapidly. Translators noun change to translate. That is a verb, and a rapid adjective word goes to the rapidly. And the word. He is a dramatic. He is a dramatic speaker. Here, speaker is a noun. We know well, and a dramatic is an adjective that qualifies the word speaker. And this is our subject. He is dramatic speaker. And how can we change this sentence? how can make a word formation that is a he comes to the speaker word and noun goes to change speaks he speaks and adjective goes to adverb dramatically so this is the easiest way we can improve our english listen very carefully is a dramatic dramatic is adjective and to speak a listen now we make the word formation like noun come to the place of verb as speaks and the adjective goes to the place of adverb that is dramatically we are with c a double l y is a suffix is used here Again, we can make a game. She is a careful listener. She is a careful listener. She is a careful listener. How can we transfer the sentence? She. This is listener. Comes to the place of verb. Listens, and this is an adjective. Comes to the place at work carefully. She listens carefully. In this way, we can easily make so many sentences so that I can say we are loyal followers. We are loyal followers. How can I transfer this sentence? We follow. Loyally, we follow loyally. They are cautious planners. They are cautious planners. They plan cautiously. They plan cautiously. She is a regular helper. The another sentence is she is a regular helper. How do we transfer this sentence? She helps. regularly she helps regularly we are attentive listeners we are attentive listeners we listen attentively we listen attentively i am a terrible speller i am a terrible speller i spell terribly i spell Terribly, and you are a sincere speaker. I can say that you are a sincere speaker. How to transfer this sentence? You speak sincerely. You speak sincerely. So in this way, we can learn English, and we can use adverb, adjective, noun forms, and and we can use it as a noun too. that is our our pronouns so when we construct one sentence we need subject verb and object 
subject, verb and object. The subject is the doer of an action. The subject is our doer of an action. That is called a noun. We know that. What is the meaning of noun? It is a name of anything. Might be a person's name, thing's name, any material's name, any place name, like that. And after that, the verb is, there are action verb is there. There are auxiliary verbs are there. So we can use that word, for example, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I is a pronoun instead of my name. I can use the pronoun I. And uh, am is the word that is auxiliary verb means being. State, showing the state. Being a am. A teacher. That's our object. It is a noun. It is a common noun. Common noun used for those who are in the profession of teaching. Okay. And here the verb actions. Where we can use after subjects. We are using our verbs. That's a I speak. She speaks. I makes. I prepare. I jump. I run. He jumps. He runs. They walk together. In this way, we can make action words with along with our subject. And for our subject, for our verb, for our object, when we come together or when we gather it together or collaborate it together, we can make a good sentence. That is, here, they are rapid translators. They are rapid translators. And here, I am going to say that a network, it is a modifier. It is a modifying word that can add something to the meaning of verb. How can we say that? Where we can use uh, this add verb in our sentence? Listen, it can be of six kinds. Adverbs can be of six kinds. There are six kinds of adverb. Number one, it is adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. It tells how an action is performed. How an action is performed. For example, I am going to give you one sentence. I walked. I walked. I is a subject. That is a verb. I walked. I walked. How I walked. How the action is performed. That shows the manner. Briskly. B-R-I-S-K-L-Y. I walked briskly. I walked slowly. I walked briskly. I walked slowly. So, we told with the names. Uh, we used uh, briskly the adverb to show that how this action is performed. How this action, the verb, verb, word is performed by the doer. And this is our doer of an action. This is our action. This is how or manner of the adverb. And another one is adverbs of place. Adverbs of place. Adverbs of place denotes that where an action is performed. It is telling where an action is performed. They sat. They sat or they sit. They kept. They keep. I put so many sentences we can make. And here they sat is our verb. And we are going to modify the verb sat here. Downstairs. The 
place is used here where the action is performed downstairs or down okay or under the tree you can say like that and another one is adverbs of time showing that adverbs of time One is manner, another one is place, the third one is time. We can easily understand that when the action is performed. This is how the action is performed, this is where the action is performed and when the action is performed, when it is performed. He came early. When the action is performed, he came. When? Early. Early in the morning. He came early in the morning. He came in the afternoon. He came in the evening. So, he came early. We are showing when the action is performed. Yeah. Time is used. Yeah. Another one is, fourth one is a frequency. Adverse of frequency. Frequency means how many times an action is performed. How many times an action is performed. For example, he visited twice. He visited twice. He visited oftenly. He visited regularly. He visited always. The frequency. Adverse of frequency shows how many times or how often the action is performed. Here we mentioned times, times a day, times a week. We can say like that. And the next one is adverse of degree. Adverse of degree. Answering the question, how much or in what degree? It shows how much or in what degree. For example, I know him completely. I know him completely. I know him completely. I know him fully. Meaning is, I know him fully. I know all his whereabouts. I know him very well. So it shows the degree means answering the question how much. And the sixth one is interrogative. Interrogative adverbs. And it shows it or it is used to ask questions. It is used to ask questions. When did the train arrive? When did the train arrive? Asking questions, we can use some question words. Then, where, which, such kind of question words we can use to ask some questions. These are the words we can use as adverbs. I, again, I'm going to say that it can be of, adverbs can be of, Six kinds. One is adverse of manner, and second is adverse of place, third is adverse of time, fourth one is adverse of frequency, fifth one is adverse of degree, and sixth one is interrogative adverbs. Sometimes an adverb can modify the whole sentence. Sometimes an adverb can modify the whole sentence. For example, she was not much hurt. The sentence, she was not much hurt. Oh, here I can use luckily. Luckily, she was not much hurt. The luckily word I used as an adverb, which modifies the old sentence. So, I am again giving thought. They are 
rapid transmitters. They are rapid transmitters. Here, rapid is an adjective. The modifier, the adverb is going to say or add something to the meaning of adjective. And uh, it uh, transfer like this. They translate rapidly. They translate rapidly. So, we can come back to our conversation. Does Peter speak rapidly? Does Peter speak rapidly? We can say you should. But not when he speaks. But not when he speaks. And uh, again, I am going to say that uh, some other things. Anyways, about uh, we learned how to use adverb, where we can use adverb, in which manner we can use adverb, when we how to use adverb, and uh, in the sentence, it is a place. Where is the place we can use the adverb? And uh, we I'm going to talk about or I'm going to teach the gerund. The gerund. Gerund is the word. It is a verbal noun. Gerund. It is a verbal noun. It is a verbal noun. Means uh, it has uh, partly act as verb and a noun. Partly act as verb and partly act as a noun. For example, we know very well that uh, smoking. This we can make a gerund with the help of smoke plus ing form. That means present participle. The ing form is used in the sentence. We can make present participle. The present participle form of ing we add to the smoke word that comes like this smoking. The well known sentence we know that. Uh, um, smoking is injurious to health. Smoking is injurious to health. There you never confuse that. But the smoking, it is used as a gerund. It is used as a gerund. And the participle forms, the present participle form used for making sentence as a verb. As a verb. And uh, Swimming is my hobby. Swimming is my hobby. So the word swimming is a gerund and that means my hobby. My hobby is swimming. We can say that uh, my hobby is swimming. It uh, plays as the noun. It plays us as a noun. Swimming. And uh, again, barking, we know that barking dogs seldom bites. Barking dogs seldom bites. Barking. Barking dogs seldom bite. When we use barking as a place of noun, and uh, it is used as a gerund, but at the same time we can use it to barks. Barks means the dog is barking. The dog is barking. So these are these are the words or this is the main word we can use in the grammar and uh, it is very beneficial for our English. And uh, we can say that uh, does Peter always speak rapidly? Does Peter always work rapidly? Does Peter usually work carefully? Does Peter usually write carefully? Does Peter usually write accurately? There are so many words. Rapidly, accurately, carefully, and uh, dramatically, loyally, steadily, cautiously, terribly, humorously, and uh, we can make uh, so many words uh, that is known as adverb. Which you can uh, add something to the meaning of verb or adjective and uh, adverb.
which can modify these all things. And uh, I think you like the class and uh, the tips how to improve your English that is also very beneficial for you and uh, daily you practice, you come to our right time uh, speaking classes or right time teaching classes or English lessons, it will helpful for you. Before sign out, I say bye bye.